From in person to remote and hybrid learning, the pandemic, you know, it has changed how students are going to school this year. But it's not only kids, adult students are also having to make adjustments and not just those getting degrees or certificates. Two out of three adults who live in Cleveland are functionally illiterate and some are working to change that. Yes, they are. News 5's Jay Jarvis shows us how one local nonprofit is helping. Seeds of Literacy helps more than 1,000 adult students each year with free basic education and preparation for the GED and other exams. So when they had to shut down in March, their main concern was connecting with those students and making sure they could continue on that path to success. Students like Eddie Clark. I see it after I had turned to certain age, I would like to go back to school. When he started coming to Seed's Eastside classroom about two years ago, he could not read all right. at all. But that soon changed from weekly Good. lessons with his tutor, Ed Round. My reading has got better. My math is getting better. My personality is getting better because now I got a mission, you know, I got a goal. Clark says he almost lost that momentum when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. I thought that I would probably change my mind due to the Corolla and probably be back out in the streets or whatever, but the Lord didn't have that change for me. The staff at Seeds was not going to let that happen either. They shut down for two weeks in March, but immediately started working on a remote learning strategy. We spent the first two weeks really trying to figure out how can we make this work? What does it look like? Um, so we decided to take um, an immediate approach with the free conference call lines. Site coordinator Kara Kraviak says opening up the telephone lines was a natural next step because many SEED students have limited access to technology, but many, including Clark and Round, found it difficult. When me and Ed was doing it on the phone, I didn't really like that. I mean, because I can't do math with him on the phone like that. And there are tutors who are much better at teaching math than I am, and perhaps they could teach math over the phone. I can't. So SEEDS continued to evolve their approach, adding a virtual classroom with recorded lessons and eventually switching everything over to Zoom. And thanks to donors, more than 45 students who didn't have access to computers were given desktops or laptops so they could access those tutoring sessions. Clark says the switch to virtual makes a world of difference. It was good because it was like being back in school. It was like being back in school. With new safety precautions like these plexiglass dividers, that could soon be a reality for Clark and seed 600 other students. We are reassessing students for the next couple of weeks. We're not certain how long that will last, um, how much time we'll need. Um, but we are hopeful that maybe we'll be able to open the classroom before 2021. Whenever that happens, expect Clark to be the first one in line. I can't wait. You know, because like I say, you know, they, they all have helped me here, and I'm grateful, very grateful. In Cleveland, Jay Jarvis, News 5.